So what do we do when the market actually gaps up or gaps down? Uh, today I want to show you just, you know, uh, a strategy and how I trade when I see the market, especially during, you know, the, the New York session when the market maybe moves down and you know, we see where there are fair value gaps that are left behind. You have to think in terms of what does that mean when we see the market gapping down, you know, if it's breaking structure and it starts to gap down or it gaps up and we see, you know, where the market's breaking structure. But those gaps in the market uh, are basically where if you think the market is pushing away from a certain area quick enough and there could be orders resting on the table that need to be filled. So you got to think if the institutions are really uh, putting big orders on to push the market down to where it gaps down. Uh, then more than likely they have, uh, and the market moves real quick. You have to think that the market didn't have enough time to fill orders. And that's how I think as a trader, a retail trader, and what helps me, uh, trade along with the institutions. So I'm basically following their footprints or, or just following their moves. Look, that helps me study or understand order flow as it happens in real time. So I'm going to show you an example of a trade that I took today, uh, with the market gap down. And you'll see it on the 24 range chart. But what I did, I noticed that there was a uh, 120 range demand zone. I trade supply and demand. So when it comes to you know gap downs in the market or gap up, and we're looking to uh, fill those gaps, if the market pulls back to a key area of demand, all right, on a higher base chart, and that's the way I trade. For all those that follow the channel, you know where I mark my charts off of a higher base chart and then move down to a lower base chart waiting for a development of a, a demand or supply setup okay so if i'm looking or taking interest in a demand setup and then i scale down or move down to a lower base chart and i see where uh, potentially where the market could reject it if we get the rejection for and then we get the confirmation to enter on a long position in buying and i look to my left hand side you know previous to okay the market just moved down and it flushed down where we have you know gaps in the market there's fair value gaps that were uh, the market just raised to the downside those areas have to be filled back in okay so here's an example uh first and foremost you got to understand market structure you know i'm gonna say this and i've said this a million times over if you are struggling or with trading and uh maybe you have a strategy and and maybe it's, it works but you just are struggling with understanding market structure and all that, all that is is understanding the ebbs and flows of how uh, the market's moving the movement within the market you got to understand and see structure um, the correct way if you really want to, you know, become profitable. So if we just take a look here and see what took place, you know, the last trading session um, Friday going into today, which is Monday, we can see where the market and last week was a holiday week. So, you know, I didn't do a lot of trading last week, but we can see where the market was breaking structure to the upside, breaking structure to the upside, pulls back and break structure again to the upside. So it left behind on the higher base chart. There was a demand zone um, right here. So it broke structure here. It pulled back, tapped into the higher base demand zone. I'm not taking my trades. Again, I'm not taking my trades off of the higher base chart. This is where I moved down to see what took place on a lower base chart. Okay. Because the lower base chart is going to look completely this, this different or a lower, lower time frame is going to look completely different than your higher base, your higher time frame chart. Again, you know, I'm just going to show you right quick. The market broke here, pulled back. We got a break of structure back to the upside right here again. There's a demand zone resting right here on the higher base chart. So if you're someone that's in, looking at the market right now um, or sometime throughout the day, maybe it's going to pull back, tap into this demand, but look on your lower base chart to look for a, you know, an entry point, okay? And I'm going to show you what I, what I, what I do, okay? So the market broke up here, pulled back, got demand here on the on the excuse me the higher base chart. Let me kind of do this right. This is how I draw my actually the full on demand zone would have been um, this one right. No, nope, let me see. Yeah, right here. That's it right there. Okay, right here. Break structure to the upside, pull back to key area demand. Now let's move down to the twenty four range chart. I just want to show you what I was looking at. This trade here, I picked up, I think, like a little bit over 14 points, okay, on the NASDAQ, trading two contracts, but that wasn't the only trade I took. It was, and I'm going to show you the video recording because I want to show you the recording because people always say, oh, well, you, you, you're showing us things in hindsight. No, I'm not. I'm showing you actual real trades, and if you're part of the Discord community, you will see these same trade setups that I talk about where I post my trades on the Discord community. Not every single one, I mean, of course, because I'm, you know, lots of times I don't have my screen recorder on or I... I, treat a, I see a trade set up as soon as I sit down in front of my charts and you just can't get everything going at the same time sometimes. So 
I post a lot of trades on over on the Discord community, and I share them with the community there, and that's the purpose. And it's free if you want to join. The Discord link is down in the description portion of the video, as well for all those that are interested in becoming a elite channel supporter or, or uh, elite member here on the channel, private community where I post trade breakdowns, I go into detail, go through the rundown, talk about my mindset of what I was thinking and looking at a trade or in, when I was entering a trade. What was my thought process? Why did I put my TP where I put it? Why did I put the uh, stop loss where I, I put it? So if you're interested in receiving those trade breakdowns, um, there's lots of videos like that on there that are part of the private community. It's only $6.99 a month. That's it. $6.99 a month. I go into detail about trade setups. I talk about, um, uh, I have a video playlist there, okay, where it's a link by link series of videos that I pulled away from the channel that I made private to the community to, you know, just kind of let you guys know to give back and thank you for uh, supporting my, my efforts as a content creator, all right? And then I also posted, like, I'll post from time to time, like other videos, uh, like I posted a, a good video on market structure. So it's, it's a lot of value there for, for such an inexpensive, you know, uh, price of $6.99. More do you, most of you guys probably spend more than that that you're out and about on a cup of, uh, uh, on a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage on a daily basis. So we're talking about that for a month, $6.99. But moving on, both links are down in the description portion of the video if you're interested. Again, the Discord is free. Uh, the market broke up here, pulled back. Let's move down to the 24 range chart right quick. This key area right here is that demand zone off of the, the 120. Let me go ahead and mark this. Some people have a hard time under, uh, really seeing this. I put it on all the charts, move over. Boom, that big box there, that big rectangle blue box is the 120 demand zone. Now, that's a big zone, right? But when the market taps into it, the only thing I'm looking to do at this point is to see where the market's going to set me up for a beautiful demand setup. Okay. Now, when we were pulling back here, again, like I said, it looks different on the on the 24 range, right? When we were pulling back here and we finally tapped into the um, excuse me, the 120 uh, demand zone. Let me get a sip of my coffee right quick, guys. Okay. Um, pull back into it. I'm looking for demand setup. Okay. Taps into it, but what I'm looking at here is that when it pulled back and tapped into the zone, look at this aggressive selling right here. Where are these? These are gaps within the market. They're fair value gaps where the market moved quickly to the downside. All right, orders were filled to to go short here to the downside, and now we need to take. Uh, we need to look for an opportunity to go to go long. Okay. Now, I also use in to my trading the volume profile. I don't take my trades centered around the volume profile but i use it as a like a tertiary tool to help me out kind of give me a landmark or gps uh area of reference to where um the market is at in reference to is it below a high volume area, area or above it? if it's below it and we're at a demand area i want to go long above it i want to go short okay and then i got the vwap here people always ask hey what's that yellow line there the squiggly, squiggly, squiggly line that's the vwap that's the volume weighted average price indicator um and i'll you know I'm starting to kind of like um, like it a little bit in the sense of I'm not taking my trades based on it though. But what I'm noticing is that is that when the market does tap into a higher base zone, and if I see that there's a demand setup in this reference or this case here, example, we created a demand right here. You see this market pushed up, pull back, broke structure higher. So we got a break above this, these highs right here. The market pulls back right here, and now we have a what? A demand zone that I marked up within that 120 uh range demand zone so a 24r demand zone within the 120r demand zone now at this point we're slightly below the vwap right but look what takes place here when the market breaks above and this is what i talk about the break and close of the candle above look for opportunity to go long i'm aiming to fill in these gaps back over here to the upside because look we're at a higher time frame zone a higher time frame or higher base zones are going to kick off a lot you know okay so uh, and they're going to work out more so in your favor if you can get higher base zone, low base zone, lower base zone to uh, kind of come together, you know, meet in the middle. You got a powerful setup right there. And then it's like I'm looking at the volume profile. The market pulls back here on the lower base 24-hour zone. We're below a high volume area here when it taps into it. We're right below the VWAP, but when the market taps the zone, we get the confirmation rejection with the break and close of the candle. Once it breaks above the VWAP, I'm all in. Okay. We've got so much means of confluence there. 120 demand zone, 24 hour demand zone. We've got, uh, the volume profile, the setup for the area of demand on the 24 hour right below the high volume area. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to talk about in videos, trading the outer edge or high volume area if you're looking to go long. Then it, once it breaks above, back above the VWAP, that's still showing me that they have still have strong indication that they want to go, go go up. And look what it did. Get into the trade, the market blasts to the upside. It goes up, not immediately, but, you know, it kind of plays around here. And this is right at uh, 940, all right? And that's what I was waiting for. I think I got into the trade around 945 or somewhere around there. But I'm going to show you the trade. Uh, it moved to the upside right here and filled every bit of this gap here and took out what? Liquidity right here to the upside. This is liquidity. A high, a swing high, okay? Back to the upside, took it out. And then, you know, I got out around this area right here and picked up like 14, 14 and a half points right there. But there was still enough area here. So we're talking about from here, 34, back up to here. Another 10 points right there. I could have picked up, you know, been out at 24, 25 points right there. Beautiful trade setup. So I'm going to uh, bring over the video so you can see the trade unfold right now. Let's go to it. And let's play it. All right, so I'm in the trade right now. I entered here a little late at 20,618, uh, uh, 20, I'm sorry. Uh, so the opportunity was right here, okay? Now, you can see where the market comes back, right? Uh, I got it in a little late, but you see me drawing the zone out, okay, on the 24 range chart. The opportunity was right here when the market broke up right here. It taps to the zone right here. You get the rejection, break and close the candle, go long, okay? Now you say, oh, you know, it looks like the market may have tried to come back and stop you out. It could have, you know. Right below this area right here where I have my stop loss at 20,608 is pretty much, or 607, is where I, where I want to uh, place my stop at. I'm circling around that area up there, as you can see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of talk through this. Circling around that area there, as you can see, right. And um, that's the area for my TP where I'm, where I'm looking to take profit at. But the market actually runs higher and takes it out up here. Again. Stop loss is where it's at, okay? We're right below the area to where, uh, you know, with the market pulled back to that demand zone, right below that area is where I want to place my stop loss because that's where the market starts showing bullish momentum to the upside and we got the break and close of the candle. Back below that area there, it does come back. After pushing up, it does come back. You know, the market does its ebbs and flows, but it never stopped me out. You know, it maybe came back maybe two points, within two points, eight ticks of my stop loss. The market does that. They try to scare people out of their positions. But you got to understand with that much confluence, you got to understand, you know, what the market is really trying to do there. So, again, stop loss goes, um, I'm going to show you right quick, boom, 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 right here, right below this area here on the back end of these lows right here and we're aiming for first area like right here and then the second area to run and take out liquidity right there so hopefully that makes sense of what i'm trying to say that's how we follow and look for great trade setups all right just want to share that with you i posted that trade over on the discord community for all those that are part of the discord discord you'll see it but i want to talk about it here in this video today again we got a gap down all right aggressive buying fair value gaps where that need to be filled in Tap into a higher base or higher time frame zone, move down to a lower base zone, look for a demand setup, got the confirmation, rejection, break it close to the candle, take it going back long. Simple as that. All right. Now, if you're not a current subscriber here to the channel, I would highly recommend you doing so because I go through uh, and provide lots of valuable content trade uh, surrounding the way and the strategy of how I trade. So you get a lot of free information. I'm telling you, there's a lot of videos here on the channel. That if you spend time watching them, you can educate yourself and, and become successful. Trust me when I say that, okay? We've had people that are part of the Discord community that have passed, passed plenty of evaluations and, and are trading with their own funded, funded accounts or whatever. But the strategy is not hard. It's just using confluence, you know, looking for confirmation, getting to the trade. Again, if you're interested in becoming an elite member to where I go into detail about those trade breakdowns, then all you have to do is scroll down to the description portion of the video, click on it. You'll see two links there. The second one says become an elite member. Click on it. Two tiers will pop up. Make sure to choose the one for $6.99 a month and you get the trade breakdowns, okay? Uh, outside of that, that's all really all I have. If you're not a current sub to the channel, you know, go ahead. Please take the time to go ahead and click on and become part of the community. Click on the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on your post notifications. And last but not least, if you found value in videos like this, and these videos like this, I have tons of them already posted all over the channel. So spend some time watching the videos. Please go ahead and drop a like on the video if you found value. Take care. See you in the next one.